What's up everybody? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Golf. Today we have another installment of 17 Swanky Questions. Today is featuring Alden Harris and Isaac Robinson. We're gonna ask them 17 fun questions, some disc golf, some not, mostly not, but it's gonna be a ton of fun. We're gonna get to know them pretty well. The first question, we're starting off hot, starting off controversial. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no, Alden? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also gonna have to say no. <laughs> wow, we're three O bad guys on that one. So that's a bummer. Uh, next question: What is your least favorite stop on the Pro Tour? That's a tough question. We've heard too I think, many people say their favorites. <laughs> see, I think my least favorite is gonna be Music City, not because where it is, <laughs> because I love I love Nashville, but the course we play is not good and it's just not fun to play coming from the previous music city yeah. champion. we don't play that course anymore <laughs> okay. they changed it oh okay. yes yeah there you go <laughs> yeah uh without a doubt it's deglow deglow is the worst <laughs> i think i'm going to change my mind to deglow I, I didn't i didn't think on the spot and the music city was the first one to come to mind but deglow is uh the worst <laughs> your life is on the line you have to choose one member of Team Prodigy to hit a 35 foot putt to save your life. Who's it gonna be? I think that's a no brainer. Get Ganon Burr out there. I think Ganon hits 100 footers more consistently than I hit 20 footers. So we'll take Ganon. <laughs> I'm gonna say Gavin. We'll give Gavin wow. there. Whenever we're practice putting, he just smokes me in every game. And he, just, <laughs> he makes 30 footers like, 35 footers like nothing. Uh, Coke or Pepsi? Um, I don't drink soda. I haven't drink soda in like, Two or three years, but best. I but I think <laughs> I think Coke, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I would go Coke as well, but not can Coke. Can Coke is I don't like can Coke. Fountain or like yeah, ball? like fountain. Yeah, fountain, fountain Coke. Coke. So I <laughs> wow! If you had to destroy one thousand bergs, asking for a friend, how would you do it? <laughs> um, it's a great question. Some I thought of a lot too. <laughs> I don't know, I think you hand him to Isaac and let him play some woods holes because he hits a bunch of trees. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Man. That was toxic. <laughs> yeah, let's, wow. I would fly them to a volcano and uh, and then just open the airplane hatch and just drop them all in. That would be beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I think, I think a slow-mo slow video would be really, really kind of... Help that out. Okay. <laughs> they would fall so slowly because they're birds. They <laughs> drift to their doom. Pardon the interruption, everyone. I'm just here to remind you that we are pushing for 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now, I know we only have a couple weeks left, but we were actually in a very similar position last year. There's a very high percentage of people who have been watching all of the videos who are still not subscribed. So be sure to check down below and hit the subscribe button if you can. It's totally free. And if we hit 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year, we are giving away this Simon Lazat Grip AX5 bag. And thanks to Disc Golf Deals USA, we're also adding 25 discs in the bag. This bag and 25 discs are gonna go to one of you guys if we hit 30K by the end of the year. We've already put a bunch of insane discs in this bag. Here's a list of them all here. They're all incredible discs, I've mentioned it, but seriously, whoever wins this bag is gonna be set. So now we're going to take another disc from this box of heat and add it to the bag. Oh my goodness, okay, today we have a Garrett Gerthy Emperor from Infinite Discs. This thing is insane. This is the domiest disc I've ever felt in my life and that stamp is sick. This is going into the giveaway with all the rest of those and don't forget, you can go to discgolfdealsusa.com and use code SWANKY10 and get 10% off their whole store all of this month and all of next month in January. So be sure to check them out. Also, don't forget to get your Discmas apparel. It's still available at flippydiscgolf.com. Uh, and let's jump right back into the video. Um, okay, second favorite sport. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna go with baseball. I played baseball my whole life up until I started playing disc golf, so. Uh, ultimate Frisbee. Nice. Really fun. What is one rule you would change about disc golf if you could? Mm. I'm trying to think. I feel like there's got to be one obvious one. I think I would make the circle bigger. I think I would push it back to 35, 40. I think. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> um, I 
Oh, maybe something about, or no, I guess it's not a rule. Something about ratings. I, just, I, hate that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's really a rule, but I'd get rid of ratings. Um, yeah, that's about it. Valid. <laughs> yeah. Very valid. That's good. What is your favorite non-disc golf YouTube channel? Assuming you guys watch it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Lately, I've been watching a lot of Shark Tank on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> just the clips from they're nice and easy. Don't watch a whole episode. So lately, been uh, watching a ton of this. So nice. Say that. I've been seeing those clips too. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to go Mr. Beast. I think. Let's, been let's watching go. a lot of that lately. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Shark Tank and Mr. Beast. What is your favorite disc golf memory? Mm. First one that comes to mind was Gannon winning USCGC. He was going to use that. Uh, it was just such a cool experience with all our friends there, getting to celebrate with them. Yeah, I, that's the first one that came to my mind too. Uh, just having basically all of Team Prodigy there, cheering him on, and then running onto the green, uh, hole 18 after he tapped that putt in was, was pretty phenomenal. Awesome. That was a lot more wholesome than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> we had to move because it started raining on us. So here we are. Uh, next question, dogs or cats? Dogs. A uh, dog. <laughs> Let's go. If Team Prodigy was on Survivor, who is the first person getting voted off the island? Oh, man. <laughs> I think it's got to be Ganon. <laughs> to save his life any. and he to kick him off. He doesn't bring anything. And he just... <laughs> like, Gavin could, like, hunt and kill things. Yes. Ganon, he would expect us to And he would he would <laughs> suck the energy out of us pretty fast. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably pretty <really> true. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if it counts for anything, he'd also pick Ganon to he'd save just, his life. He'd, he'd so. just be practice putting the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think Ganon would vote himself out. He probably would on accident. He'd just be so <laughs> <laughs> He's so bored, he'd be like, I'm Yeah, that's that's, that's very true. He'd vote himself out. Uh, Chipotle or Moe's? I don't know if you guys have preference. I'm going to go Moe's. Moe's. Go Chipotle. I, I kind of hate Chipotle, if I'm being what? honest. <laughs> I've only had Moe's I don't think course. they're that different. <laughs> <laughs> different. If you could go back and tell yourself one thing in regards to disc golf before you started, what would you tell yourself? Hmm. It's a good question. Oh, I, I don't know. I guess take it more seriously. Because I honestly didn't take it that seriously like growing up. It was just kind of a fun thing. Um, and now I see like the potential for it. I wish I kind of practiced. It's funny because I, yeah. I feel like my answer would be taking it less seriously. Because <laughs> yeah. immediately when I started playing, I was like so hard on myself. So yeah. I didn't really get to enjoy the process of getting good. So I'm going to go back and enjoy it a little more. Nice. Yeah. You guys are complete opposites. Yeah, except for dogs, apparently. <laughs> Least favorite disc golf memory. Probably Ganon winning USCGC. <laughs> <laughs> Either uh, U winning USCGC or D Glow. Any anything in D Glow. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, Maple Hill was pretty miserable in the rain. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah. That was not very fun. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of sick of that. But most most <laughs> memories are good. I'd say. That's yeah. good. <laughs> if you could if you could play a round of disc golf with any person throughout history, who would it be? I don't know. I feel like the obvious answer is Ken Climo. He doesn't play anymore, so it'd be kind of hard yeah. to play around with him. But yeah, I'd probably say Ken Clown just to see like how good he actually was. Yeah, that, that's a good answer. I wasn't even thinking of anybody in disc golf, but I think that's a perfect answer. Um, yeah, Ken Climo. Two questions left. Question 16. What is the worst part about van life? When it rains, oh, you can't get dry. Goodness. Yeah, like it's just Ooh. impossible to get dry. That's a good answer. Yeah, when it dries or what? <laughs> <laughs> when it rains. <laughs> When you go outside, you get so wet, and then you go back in, in the van, and everything's wet, but then you can't go back outside because it's raining still. And when you're in Portland, it rains for three weeks in a row. You can't do anything. So, Man, yeah. I haven't thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's it's devastating. Really Final question. Uh, this is the sign off. If you could only throw one disc for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'm going to go with my PA1. Wow. Basically all I throw Specifically already, so. your PA1 or any uh, PA1? I guess or like... any, any PA1. Okay. Any nice. PA1 would be good. I have to go M1, I think. M1? Yeah. Stay true <laughs> to that M1. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out Alden's YouTube channel, both of these guys on Instagram. They're doing awesome stuff. We'll see you in the next one. Stay swanky.